Welcome back, everybody. I am back in the Twilight Forest. We're going after the Urgast. We're going to see, I think, <clears throat> we can go right to the very top of the tower. But I think we have to do some Carbamite Reactor stuff first. What does that mean? Well, you'll see when we get there. It's uh, pretty straightforward stuff. And I'm going to put potion of fire resistance and potion of regeneration on my hop bar just in case and I get Achilles ready Ah, oh, there's one of those houses let's go down and I'll show you what I what they look like it's a cute little house inside is a spawner and then there's a netherrack fireplace. That's about it. They spawn these little things, I think they're called druids, that shoot you with poison darts. Not fun. Not fun at all. Or as our Brett friends might say, not fun at all. It brings me no joy to walk into that den of death. Deeth. Maybe Deeth is Australian. I don't know. I don't know. I am from the United States, so I just have ignorance on my side because I've only been to the UK once. I really want to go again. Now we're going to go all the way up to the top. And uh, we're going to drink our fire resistance. Eat. And then come in here. Oh, and there it is. That's the Urghast. doing some good damage here, but one of the things that you do is you come into these rooms here, see here, and look at those and find one that is burn it. Ooh, those things hurt. So. It's the best way to keep from taking damage from that thing. Is it come right up here? Well, we're just gonna have to shoot it. Get over here. something. Oh, there we go. 
come down here, we get a chest with carmonite, ergas trophy, and some fiery blood. Take the chest as well. All right, now I can show you this stuff here. You can step on this stuff to suck in uh, ghasts. And these doors are cool. You can't break them. Ah, now I know what's going on. Options. All. There you go. This is glowing. It should uh, tell you. And let's put the particles back on minimal. Um, when you have your particles on full and it's not raining, this will actually kick off and you'll see it glowing. When uh, Urgast is near, you step on it, it sucks him down, and then you shoot him with the bow. That's Flight generally isn't something that you see going on. So, that's what... That's what uh, um, these things are for, to bring the Urgas down to your level so you can kill him. One of the things I like doing is... Uh, is collecting the uh, the doors. All right. Well, there we go. The rest of this is like these spiders and skeletons. And we get carmonite golems. Let's put this. Let's grab these materials here. And then we'll come over here. I'll show you a carbonite reactor going off. Here we go. Oh, it's missing the stuff. You come over, you hit this. Hit this. That. And that. And it sets off a carbonite reaction, but... We're going to go ahead and just... Take these guys. Come here, white boy. Not white boy, but white bag. There we go. We can put that stuff in there. We have no room for anything else. There should be another carbonite reactor on the next floor. So we'll go ahead and grab, go down there. Oh yeah, there we go. And I have no way to light the place up. So what we're going to do is we're just going to activate the carbonite core. We're going to come over here and take these first. Got everything? Yep. 
This is the last one. Let's get out of the way. And we'll watch that go off. And it brings in a bunch of these ergasts. Put that one out of its misery. I didn't want to fall. There we go. And I thought I saw. No, it's a regular skeleton. Okay. Let's see here. We can put those guys in there and that and that. And that. And of course we have the big ghasts. But we are just going to head away. Back away. We're going to come back and we're going to completely mine this tower out as well. Woo! Well, that was fun. Learn something about the Urghast. You don't want those tears hitting you because they will take you out. Ah, so we've got all but the mighty Mushroom Chief. And he is the last one. There's apparently uh, another dungeon that uh, I saw Direwolf go through. So I'm going to have to do a search and see if I can find that here. I had lots of brick and some other stuff in there. Let's take a look here. There I see K. Now I see just regular brick and... Oh, what's that? Under brick. Yep, we have that dungeon here somewhere. It's in the Twilight Forest. <clears throat> so I'll keep my eyes open for it. I think under brick is what uh, the floors and walls are made out of. But apparently it's very large. So uh, we should be able to find it and uh, exploit it. And there's a lot of chests and a lot of monsters that run around in there. So I get some XP and junk. Excuse me, wow. Interesting, when you go down diagonally, see how fast we're going forward? It slows when you go down diagonally. Mm. Odd. So, another new dungeon type. And we're getting close. Very close. There it is. Um, another new dungeon type. We're going to have to go and exploit that dungeon. But the quarry that... Oh, wow. I thought that was uh, empty. It's got a fern or something there. Um, uh, all right. I'm tired of not that one. It's this one. Radar. Hostile should be on. Holding zombie flesh. 
finally found that little dude. What the heck is that? It's over around here. Okay, getting farther away. Hmm. Let's zoom in. Come on, let's get in there. over there somewhere It's apparently this way. Oh, okay, I know what it is. It's one of those weird little dudes. with the hunchback and backpacks. Huh, look at this freaking Enderman just ripping up all the dirt in the area. Making the place look ugly. But that's what I get for having mob griefing on. Oh well. Mob griefing is a setting that you can uh, put in your world that turns... Ooh. Ooh, we got some swords, some milk, found a potion of healing, um, alright, so ironwood swords, should get another ironwood sword here in a second, there we go, put those with the weapons, I don't think I have a dedicated weapons chest. Alright, let's go in here. Um, <clears throat> I forgot what I was talking about. Oh well, it's not that important. There's that. I don't think we can put anything else in there. Anyway. Let's hang up our Lich Trophy. Well, we have our Lich there. We have our staff there. Urgast can go right there. Excellent. Oh, mob griefing, mob griefing. Yeah, it's a setting that you can put on your world that keeps creepers from blowing stuff up and endermen from picking things up. So it's a, it's a pretty handy little deal. All right, we're going to be getting a lot of this stuff. Let's go down to the basement. Yeah, right here's good. All right. 
Alrighty. I don't think we'll be getting much Carmenite. But here are the uses. You can make vanishing blocks. Or you can make reappearing blocks. You can you can create them. Excellent, excellent. So we have a way to make reappearing blocks. And then we can make builders and reactors. Excellent. I'm glad they got those into the uh, Um, Twilight Forest builds. All right, lots of item frames, and we'll put this upstairs in the in the magic room. Let's see here. What's a borer essence used for? For making carmonite. All righty. Put these guys here. We have some more fiery blood, carmonite, used for making carmonite. And we've got a lot of uh, potions. There we go. Go ahead and make us some potions of regen. Just like that. There we go. Now I'm put that extra stake away. Yeah. Yeah, right here's a good place. Yeah, we'll go down here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm missing my helmet. I guess it may have been destroyed. Oh, joy. Looks like I'm going to be making a new helmet. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this, uh, episode we took out the urgas by <laughs> completely circumventing all the parkour which i would have failed at unless i was a bat which i was a bat so i just flew to the top so we have all but one of the twilight forest bosses we'll look at getting the minotaur boss sooner or later but until next time the six caliber enjoy playing minecraft enjoy playing games i am out